this is Gautam and in this video today I will show you the code which HP ALM generates when you integrate some of your certified processors with it okay so basically exploring the code part in HP ALM so if you have worked with certify and if you have um, done any integration in ALM or QC so you know in the current certify version we have certify enable this feature from where you can add any certify process directly to the HP LM okay just to do a right click on the certify process and then you will find one option called add, add, add to QC LM test plan so this is basically one thing but what if you are using some of the older certify version or you need to do something in HP LM itself so today what I am going to show you here that how you can add a certify process in LM without using certify okay so let's see that so this is basically a, a process here I have sample process so it has nothing but just open to Google and then do some search here so that is what so I will add this process into ALM okay and this is ALM so in ALM you need to know two things when you do the integration with 35 and that those two things are that in ALM we have something called test plan and test lab so test plan is an area where you create a test and you link that test with your certify process so you basically don't do any linking here you just do all those things using the code okay and this code is something which is ALM automatically generates when you create any test okay and then once your test is created and you have linked that test with your certify process then you need to go to test lab and here you need to create a test set and you need to pull all the tests which you have created into test plan to test lab okay and then test lab is a place from here you do the actual execution so let's see so in the test plan you I have a folder called ALM demo and I will create a test here a new test I will give some name here so give some name I will give the same name which is there in my certify for that process so basically you can give any name here so okay but try to give some meaningful name so sample process I have given the name and then let's say okay and in ALM the code which I am talking about is basically a VV script so it gets generated automatically once you create a test and the code is there which is there is basically a VV script so just say finish here nothing else and then ALM will generate the code okay so this is the code here and in that code if you scroll down there is something called to do put your code here and that is great it means if you know if, if you have done anything in bv script and if you have any idea about bv script then the single code which is there in the beginning of this line is basically meant for commenting the code okay like you comment some steps in 35 process or if you have done something in java c++ you do you use double slash okay to comment some line of some some code okay some some code double slash or slash or asterisk so similarly here in VBA script if you want to comment something you can use single code okay and then it will get grayed out so here it says put your code here so here we need to write some code okay so I'm writing this code here I have already there it my it may it in, in my clipboard so this is the code basically the first step is basically setting the connection between 35 and ALM so and then there is something called dim project dim is a keyword in a VB script which basically declares any variable so oh, here I am declaring a variable called project and then I am initializing this project variable with a value called demo and this is my project in 35 if you see demo is my project in 35 okay and then I am declaring a variable called process and I am initializing this process with my 35 process name and path so my 35 process is basically sample process here and it falls on ALM demo demo is my project ALM is my folder and here we have sample process so this is basically the path I have given LM demo sample process and there are two more things which I will comment as of now and I will show you what it does later okay so this is done I will save it and then as I said we'll go to test lab I will create here also I have a folder LM demo I will create a test set I will give some name again there is no hard and fast rule for any name but try to make sure that you give some meaningful name okay then say okay and then in this test set I will link this test set with the test which I have created in test plan so I will go and I will select this one 
I will say select tests. It will show me the test plan here. And I will select my test plan test. And then I will say, I will just use this uh, keyboard, um, this arrow key here. So what it will does, it will Yeah, so it got added. I don't know what was the problem, so just leave it. So finally, my um, test is added here. Okay, and I have already made some changes in the code which you have already seen. Okay, so if you go here, you, you have seen that code, right? Which we have done some settings here. Now in the test lab, select the test here, and here I can add as many test sets as I want inside this folder. Now suppose I have some other process in 35. Then that I can also add here. I will just do a right click and I will say new test set and it will get added here. And but before we add something here, we need to make sure that that is already there in test plan. And then we link those two things and then we'll select the tests from here and then we have a run option. So if we have multiple test set here, you will see all those things here. And if I want to run all those all of them together, I will use run test set. If I want to run any individually test set here. Any individual test set, I will select that one and I will say run. Okay. So first let's see whether it's running or not. So it will first make the connection with 35 and then it will start the execution. So it is connected with 35. So this is basically the execution window in ALM. ALM. Then this is the command prompt from where you can see 35 will start executing the process. Okay. So now here, now I'm running it from ALM. And when you run it something from 35, you have something called output location where you say where the result will get stored after the execution, right? But here we have not said anything like that. So execution is done. Then it will automatically close all those things. Okay. Now in AL and when you execute something from ALM, where the result will get stored? That is my question here. So we'll see. Okay. So just hold on until the result gets generated or execution is execution finishes. It should not take that much time basically. it is done okay so now let's close and if you see the result which is stored in 35 here right now I don't want this result to be stored here I have a separate dedicated folder in 35 that is QC result I want my execution result to be stored here so what we will do now in that case in ALM in the test plan the code if you re if you remember I have commented right so let me uncomment those two part okay and here if you see there is something called output location and i have given qc result okay so it means the result will get stored in this part so let's run it again and we'll see where the result gets stored now so it will take some one two minutes okay so generally when you do the execution for the first time it takes some time a little longer time but when you keep doing it it doesn't take that much time okay so execution is done okay now it's gen it is generating the report And here if you see this uh, when now execution is actually done but it is taking some time to prepare the report so this this time can be handled so there is no issue 
we need to do some settings and then we can minimize this time or we can reduce this time okay so let's see on here in qc see okay so it is now here and if you go to see the attribute there is something called 7388 this is basically the run id which you see or alm generates when you run any processes with it okay this is what uh, i was trying to show you today hope you like it and since i forcefully closed the term uh, terminated the execution that's why status is failed so uh, not an issue and if you go to test run you will find those run here 7388 and 7387 now in 35 if you see this is 7388 and here the uh, earlier execution was here 7387 okay so hope you liked it thanks for watching okay